Hey guys, welcome back to Watch Guys to Ration. In this video, we're going to continue working on the Suzuki LJT. Now, you may have seen our last video where we've got that rear axle all complete and on the car. In this video, we're going to start working on this gearbox and start working on that front axle as well. So, let's grab some tools and let's crack on. Wait, 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 wait stop there. Just stop there. You may have noticed that that intro made no sense whatsoever. So I started off by saying we got the rear axle all complete and on the car. And I even pointed to the car and pointed to the rear axle that clearly was not on the back of the LG80. All complete and on the car. And on the car. Now the previous video was actually the front axle and it was cleaning up the front axle and then it was meant to be painting and the gearbox in this video and then back on the car in this video. Now I know what you're also thinking. You're also thinking, Ryan, why are you still here? Why are we still watching you talk instead of watching the LJ80 get built? Now, there's a very good reason why and I've got a big confession to make. Um, I deleted 180 gigabytes worth of footage from this video and the last video. I wasn't pissed off at all to be honest, oh no, no, I was, I was completely, you know, I was completely fine. So yeah, I deleted 180 gigabytes worth of footage. A lot of it was the previous video. So because we've got, we're filming 4K, we've got that much footage, we've got to sort of like keep deleting things and I selected the whole thing and deleted it. And it didn't go into the recycle bin because it was 180 gigabytes worth of footage and it said, do you want to permanently delete this file or this folder? And I said yes and immediately regretted it. So I spent, Hours and hours trying to retrieve this footage. Luckily, there was still some on my phone which I'd not deleted yet or which I'd not transferred over. So that was a lot of it. And I managed to recover quite a lot through, you know, various coding and I spent hours coding and stuff like this. And basically, I managed to get probably three quarters of the footage. Um, but you'll see in a moment when we actually do start the video. You'll see that the chassis is already painted and most of the parts are already painted. Um, now that's because I couldn't retrieve the footage that I needed when I was painting. So just imagine me, just imagine a, br a brush and... Right, there you go, so that's that thing. Um, you may also be wondering why I'm stood in front of the Disaster Datsun, link in the description, and this nice NC MX5 link also in the description for this nice sick paint job and there's also a number 35 on the windscreen I've no idea why um, but the reason I'm stood here and not with the LJ80 is because I'm further ahead on the LJ80 um, do press that thumbs up button turn on your post notifications so it notifies you when we drop an upload and enjoy the video Right, so that's the first coat sorted. We are going to go for another coat as well, uh, just to make sure it's properly protected. Um, we don't have these to do as well, so we'll get these refilled and painted. As for the rubber bushings um, that are in this leaf spring and any other rubber bushings on the car, um, we are going to leave these, so we're going to build it with the old ones in, uh, but we are going to get some new ones, so we'll get a full kit and we'll replace everything. As for the brakes, I'm not going to build the brakes yet. Um, we are going to get some new brakes for this on the front and the rear. So I'm not going to build the brakes yet, uh, but I am going to get the axle all fixed together in this video and get it back on the car with the leaf springs.
Shall we swap? Yeah. Shall we swap over? Right, so the front axle is now in. All that we're waiting for is some shock absorbers. So two for the back, two for the front, and one between the chassis here. Um, the gearbox is also in. Um, so what we can do now is we can connect this transfer box to this diff um, just down here. We can also connect up these steering rods as well because currently the tyres can move independently.